So if you are seeing this error in your Google Search Console when pages are marked as duplicate content and they are not indexed on Google Search Engine, this video is going to be a very important video for a multilingual website SEO. If you don't know what is a multilingual website, it is a website when your content is available in more than one language. And people depending on different regions, they can choose the content in their own language. But the problem with it, a lot of pages in different languages can be marked as duplicate content by Google and they're not being listed on Google search engine. So in this video, I'm going to explain everything about it and how you can face these challenges and get your website, multilingual pages in other languages indexed and rank on Google search engine. If you're looking for a solution of duplicate content for non multilingual website, check the link in description. I have already created that video and not just that video. I've created many other videos which solve your issue about Google search console errors. Okay, so let's start this video, which is very important for multilingual website SEO. Okay, so the first reason why Google is not indexing your pages on search engine, which I translated because of the quality of translation. What is happening? A lot of people, they translate their pages using Google translate or any other AI based solution. And Google say no, that is spam. That is not real content. It is generated by AI or by any service which is doing the translation. It is nice to use the translation services, but in the end, you need to have your own touch to the content. If you just copy the content in English language or any other language and translate it by Google Translate to other language and paste it, Google can mark that content as a spam content. So make sure you are translating your content yourself. Of course, you can take help of some tools online and there are some websites which does better translation than Google. So these are the websites on the screen. You can see they does better job than Google Translate and cross verify your translation between these services. So you can see which provide the better translation. And top of that, the human written content is preferred by Google. So if you're just using the translation, automatic translation, Google might mark those content as spam and your pages will not be indexed on Google. Okay, the second issue is URL structure. So in most of the cases, what happened? For example, you can see on my website, this is a page which talks about home decor ideas. This is a page in English language. You can see EN here. And what happened when I use a free plugin or a service for translation, the translated page seems like FR home decor ideas which is not at all good idea because Google can see this URL is same as English URL. What you need to do in that case, you need to translate permalink and have a relevant URL in that particular language you are trying to translate on. Depending on your translate plugin, you can have this option to change the URL or permalink based on the language you're targeting. For example, I create a French page for this blog post, home decor ideas. The translation should be ID Deco Maison. So the URL for this page should be, should be something like this in that particular language. And now depending on the plugin you're using, you can find this option, how you can do that. Some plugin provide this option free of cost and some plugin does not provide the free of cost. Sometimes you need to pay the, for the premium version. I will add the complete detail in description, which plugins provide this feature for free. So check the description of this video. So next point is href language tags. So these tags are there to define the language of the page. You can see the tag is here, which says the language is English. And then for the French pages, the language can be French. Depending on the language, you will have the different tags on the page. However, it is not very important nowadays. It used to be very important before, but Google is very smart nowadays. It can understand the language of the page by the content exists on the page. So it is not super important and no matter which plugin you use, all the plugin provide this feature and you will always have this language tags on your pages, depending which page the user is on. If user is on English page, it will have the English tag. If user is on French, Spanish or any other language, the page will have this tag on the page. So you don't need to super worry about this point. It is by default integrated if you're using any plugin on your website. If your website is a custom website, you do not use any framework or any plugin. It is not a WordPress website. Then you need to manually add this. But yes, in the end, as I said, it is not really important. Google can understand automatically what is the language of the page. Okay, the next point is very interesting, which is translating the menu and other items on your website. So you can see this is a page on website, which is French page. Let's just ignore for this is written in English because I have not added the French content. Imagine this blog post completely written in French language, but you can see here the menu here is written in English. And if I go to the footer, you can see this content is also written in English. And then you can see the next post, which is also guiding the English blog post, which is not a good thing. So what Google can see the whole website, this whole page is not in French language. It is mix of two languages. So what you need to do, depending on your plugin, you mostly have this option to translate your menus, items and other strings in that language. So make sure you change all these things and have the relevant translation for these links. For example, home about contact, it should be written in French language. If this is a French page, if the page is Spanish, you should have the Spanish menu items 
all links on the page in that language just a quick pause guys i hope you are getting some information from this video so don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel this will take a lot of time to research create and edit and then upload to youtube so i'll really appreciate if you like the video and subscribe to the channel let's go back to the video okay next point is have unique metadata for the blog posts or pages so what happened we just translate the page content and we think that work is done but no you need to change the title of the page also in the relevant language not just title title of the page and the meta description of the page in that relevant language now here comes the challenge a lot of free plugin does not provide this option where you can change the seo title of the page and meta description in different languages but yes but depending on the plugin this option is provided so go to your page and check in the settings if you have this option to change the title in the relevant language so always change the title and the meta description in the relevant language also do not forget to change the alt text for images in different language that will really boost the seo of your multilingual website the next point is quality of translation so what can happen sometime we translate in different language using ai or even we hire somebody and they translate the page in different languages but sometime what happen we miss very important information for example if a blog post is written in english and you're using reference like for example this object is like 5 kg when translate into a different language but in that country the matrix is not kg it is pounds so make sure you change this kind of information if you're using currencies so make sure change the currencies depending on the country that is localization of the language and google pick these kind of things so when you add this kind of small changes in your blog post google will really appreciate that and your translation pages will be indexed very fast on google and they will rank much higher so next point is xml sitemap it is really important that you use a nice plugin in your website like rank math or yoast seo plugin so when you have these translation pages these pages are added to the sitemap of the website and when google crawl your website it can understand that this page is available in different languages that is really important guys so if you're not using any plugin you should start using a nice plugin like rank math or yoast seo i have created a complete video on both the plugins what are the best settings and how you can have best seo website using these plugins so check the description i will add the video in description so next important point is when you make the transition make sure you're interlinking the translated content sometimes what happen you translated the content but you left the links inside the page or post which are referring to the english content so make sure you interlink the content in the same language you can see on screen i have written a content and then i translate in different language but the link is going to the old content and this is really important point that will really boost your website seo next point language selector make sure all the pages of your website has a visible language selector where people can choose their preferred language the last point to have optimized and fast website that point is really important no matter you use multilingual website or normal website you should have a fast website use a cache plugin have a good website hosting and just by doing that you will have better website seo and your website will rank higher because site speed is a ranking factor for google if you want to know why recommendation what is the best hosting check the link in description i hope you are getting some information from this video so don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel this will take a lot of time to research create and edit and then upload to youtube so i'll really appreciate if you like the video and subscribe to the channel